Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you some of the basics of error handling. If you have done the programming, you must be aware about try catch or try accept catch or try catch accept, whatever you know mean the order uh, in the programming language that you have learned. But I will show you here how you can do similar sort of uh, error handling within the Python. All right, so what I'll do is I will simply specify one function which will going to add up the two values based on what argument we are passing and then what we'll try is passing the incorrect argument and see whether our uh, error handling is working or not because in a real-time scenario a user can pass anything so number one is also fine and o n e one is also fine so let's see how we can differentiate between that so add it up x comma y right so first of all i'll specify one uh, integer or one variable to hold it up its value and then i will specify the try and colon and set here set is equals to x plus y right and then i will say accept in the except I will simply print that if no numerical value is passed then I will say please pass only integer or float value right and say return C all right let me go ahead and call this function add it up 1 comma 1 fine 1 comma 1.5 is also fine but let's say what I want to pass is O N E 1 so now instead of uh, giving us an error which it would have given if he had not specified the try and accept it has given us a proper formatted output for uh, that our user can understand which will say please pass on only in teacher or float value so that's about the basics of try and accept that you can use to handle all such errors which can result into some sort of a problem in a real time and that will help basically your user to understand that something is not right in a in an understandable manner otherwise python really you know throws a long list of uh, error with its explanation which for a normal user is not really suitable so that's pretty much about it uh, for how you can use the try and accept within your program or within your function to handle the errors